Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. And it's Easter weekend and wow. So Easter for me is always one of my most favourite holidays throughout the year. It really, really is. And this one has been, the lead up to Easter this year has been something which I would have never, ever planned for. Um, one of my recent clips was letting you know, which... I couldn't see ever happening in my wildest dreams was the tragedy of losing my dear little cat, my grey and white cat, my Andy, my boy Andy. And that really has devastated me and it's absolutely broken, broken hearted me. Um, and of course, when you lose something so dear to you, it brings so many memories of loss back to you and I think that's exactly what it done for for quite a while and it's still there. Of course, it doesn't it doesn't go Easter. Though, of course, it's here. Um, and as I say, it's it's one of my favourite times throughout the year. And why? Because I am of faith, so it is a huge uh, it's a huge guidance in my life, my faith. And I uh, and for me it's a, a it's a huge uh, very poignant time for me of bringing family together and really taking the time to appreciate everything in our lives which we are so blessed with. And I appreciate that everybody isn't of faith and do you know what? that's absolutely okay. In the back of my mind I always have a little bit of a, a running sort of snigger where actually when people say how with all the, the bad things going on in the world how on earth can there be a God and how on earth can you have faith and, and one thing or another and I always think in the back of my mind okay it's okay if you don't believe but he believes in you. Um, and you know what? It's okay. He wants us to question things. It's not about us making out that we're a saint or that we're perfect, because of course not one of us is perfect. I do truly believe that we were all got, we were all created in God's own image, um, and that has given me a lot of strength, a lot of guidance for what I've been blessed with. And I've been through a lot of difficult times in my life, but I have a very blessed uh, life, a very blessed path in my life, um, and. I am truly, truly thankful for the Lord for how on earth he blessed me with the family which I have. Um, I have amazing parents, my mum, my dad, and on that parent table, my dear Nan as well. Um, I have amazing brothers, their partners, my nieces and nephews, my other grandparents on my dad's side. Honestly, how on earth the Lord blessed me with the family and the road I have in this life, the, the journey which I'm leading, I will never ever know. So I have so much to, to be grateful for. And yes, you know, I have health issues and I've had, and we will be talking about this in the channel uh, soon. Um, and yeah, I have gone through tough times. Um, but do you know what? Even when we're going through something, there is always something. So for example, with me, um, I've been having a few problems with uh, sort of uh, passing out episodes and uh, having accidents um, from that and... Uh, hearing problems and from a groin surgery. I've had a lot of problems from that. But you know, there's also other things which I'm healthy and well of, and I can still enjoy uh, an amazing life, which I've been blessed with. So for me, there's so many great, great things in this life to, to concentrate on and be thankful for, especially when we all know. And even though it's Easter and it's a, a very magical, wonderful, wonderful time of uh, whether you are of a faith or whether it is just a well-earned break for you from a busy life of what you have. It's a time where we all get to enjoy. But I think it's very clear and apparent that we only have to turn on the television or look in the newspapers or on social media or online that there are still horrific things happening in this world. We live in a fallen world. As I always say, we are blessed with one life. Why on earth would you not want to, to spend it by uh, influencing goodness and making goodness and kindness and spreading positivity and making change rather than adding to this fallen world? We all know that there is people out there who will admittedly just for the sake of it add to the world we live in and just set out to be facetious and nasty um when actually i don't i really fail to understand that we have one life why on earth would you not want to to do all those great things uh we have one opportunity to make a stamp on this earth as i always say our lives are like a book write yours how you'd wish to read it um and if we can eliminate pain and anguish and all that nastiness and hatred then why on earth wouldn't you we'd only want surely the best for somebody as we would want for our mum for our dad our grandparents our friends our family our loved ones uh, i I really could, and I have spent so much time when I've been unwell thinking about these things. So I love Christmas and I love Easter. And then after that is like the summer holidays I really, really love. But Easter for me, so Easter for me is huge. On a personal notion, I just share this with you from my faith. Um, on my worst times, on my good times, I pray and I pray every day. 
There is only times where I don't pray when uh, if, if I've been unwell and I've perhaps just fallen asleep or something like that, or if something's happened. Um, but for me, when it comes to when it comes to Easter, of course, when it comes to Easter, Easter, the Lord uh, loved us so very much that he gave and he loved this world that he uh, sacrificed his only son. And Jesus, I believe he knew his purpose. I believe he knew his purpose. And I believe we all have a purpose on, on this earth. And Jesus knew his purpose and that he loved us that much that he gave his life to all of us as his gift to all of us and that he would resolve our past, present and future sins. And with that, when he wore that crown of thorns, when he went through all the anguish and all the horrendous, the horrendousness and all that horror, what he went through, he went through and wore all of our sins. And do you know what? To that, to, th to that notion that actually he resolved our past, present and future sins. So he went through all of that to pay that ultimate price to resolve all of that because he loved us so much. And that actually that we can go on and we can live that amazing life which he wanted for us of not having to uh, occupy ourselves with with all of those things and sins in our life and that we could go on and we could live a good life and all of what we have to do and we can follow him and have everlasting glory and have eternal life is that through he resolved our sins and that through that all he asks is to love one another to love him and to lead a good life and one, once our journey is done then we will take our position and then only through him that we will join him and we will all be together again. And in my heart, that is it. And Easter so beautifully symbolizes that for me. I have so many memories in my mind of my dear Nan, who is no longer with me. She is up above with the Lord and the rest of my family in heaven. My grandfather, my my Auntie Kim, my Uncle Malcolm and my beloved uh, Saber, my, my puppy dog, and my cat Andy, who are to give me comfort now I was saying my nan's looking after Andy. And um, do you know what, that brings, brings me a lot of clarity, a lot of hope, that gives me a lot of just at peace. And I think in today's world, one of the things which Easter can give us, and if you're of faith, then you understand, but if you're not, then you're amazing. Just remember that you're amazing. There is only one of you. So you don't need to change who you are. You don't need to be anything else. Just look after yourself, look after your family and just resonate with yourself that actually there is only one of you and you're amazing. You're exactly where you need to be, where you are. And if you want to change something, you can change anything in this world. Now from me, my parents are a great strength to me. They are my path in this life with my nan. And but faith in me gives me that guidance and that strength that actually, no matter what, if something bad happens, we keep going. That path is written for us. And I do truly believe that he will not allow us to go into any situation or anything which he doesn't feel that we can uh, handle or he won't send us into anything which is too hard for us or or won't, we possibly won't get through. He knows that we will cope with whatever he sends us into and he sends us into nothing more, nothing less. And I think from that, Easter for me is, is close here, especially so after losing my nan and especially through growing up and experiencing a little bit more about life, seeing my nieces and nephews grow up, I have not found... Uh, my relationship in my life yet I've not have I don't have a family of my own I hope I will and I have faith that in that path that that there is my life soul partner my wife uh, to be on that path hopefully soon and then I hope that there will be children and I hope that there'll be this beautiful house and this beautiful life um, and an extension from the incredible life I lead now and the life I've been blessed so Easter so uh, for me gives me all of that 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 line in the sand of appreciating that actually do you not know even if you're not perfect come to him with with they say don't they your broken pieces i've heard that in so many sermons come to him with your broken pieces and something quite beautiful can be made from those broken pieces and do you know what that that faith that guidance that strength that actually even when something bad happens do you know what shout scream get on the floor do you know what whatever you've got to do but don't turn away from that because actually do you know what it's that constant relationship which grows us and gives us that that everlasting glory of that faith that actually he is there. He's there always. And for me, do you know what? So many times I used to I used to pray so hard and so much when 
I knew my nan was getting weaker, and I knew that she was coming to the end of her life. And for me, I mean, even at Easter, nan would always be at our Easter table, at the head of our Easter table, and, um, and I even remember with my aunt being ill with cancer, um, and even facing operations, which I faced. And you know what? You, you pray, and it gives you that, that, that confidence, that strength. And you know what? Strange, almost things have happened in my life where plan of events have happened, and it's almost like, well, that couldn't have been any other way. And I know people will sit there and they'll justify one thing and another, and they say, well, it could have been this way, or it could have been that way through science, or what have you. But I think... When you have a faith and you have that installed confidence in your faith in the Lord above, nothing kind of will taint that. You can't install that in somebody. I think they have to find that themselves. And for me, I've I've got that. And I think it's like a lot of people say, well, do you go to church? No, quite happily admit, I don't. Am I associated with one? Uh, there is a church which is close to my heart, and that's St. John's here and where I live. Um, but for me, my nan was my church. And a lot of people think, well, how on earth is that? Growing up. That that faith that faith was through my through my nan and, and how she used to sort of talk to me about things and how she used to guide through me. Uh, sorry, how she used to guide uh, me through things. Um, and yeah, and for and for me as I've got older, I kind of taken that and I've learned more and in through prior that's that's developed me and and now I feel that I'm guiding people and I'm helping people, and that's that's what I wish to do. And and I, there's n nobody who I wouldn't help. Um, it's like people say of enemies and things like that. Oh no no, life is far too short to have any of that. And never hold a grudge because how on earth can you go on and flourish and do amazing, incredible things when you're holding on to that weight behind you? So never ever do that. Um, People can question, of course they can question, everybody's entitled to having an opinion and questioning things, but that constant relationship. So when someone says, oh, how can you believe? Do you know what? Perhaps don't question me on that. Perhaps in your mind, why are you, why are you kind of giving into that doubt? What's in your mind? Perhaps take a moment in your own private space, take time for prayer. Do you know what? Ask. You, you would be surprised what happens. And as I say, whatever people have gone through, and you think, well, how on earth have they ever then sort of gone to faith and gone on to, to believe in all of these things? Because it's that constant relationship. And you know what? It's not all, you have to be honest, it's not all rose beds in this yellow brick road. It's, it's nothing of the sort. Anybody who makes out that that is faith, it's not. It's the ups, it's the downs. Do you know, it's just sometimes looking up to the sky, screaming, why on earth has this happened? And you know, I've done that. I've absolutely done that. I really, really have. But it's that, it's that when you go to bed, you give it to God, let God work it out. And then you wake up in the morning and then you have that almost, that different look on things. And then if you've gone through tragedy and then a couple of days pass, and then you kind of get that air of actually that, You've walked through that door. You've walked, as I say, you've walked through that valley and, and, and he's there. So for me, that's Easter. I don't know how to put that in so many words, but that's Easter. And Easter highlights all of that for me, that Jesus done that. He resolved our past, present and future sins on the cross. That crown of thorns, all the horrendousness, what he went through, all of the hatred, all of the pain, the anguish, all of what he went through. He went through for you and me because he loved us so much. And he died and he beat the grave and he rose again. And... He is within us. He is up above the Father, the Son, and the Spirit within us. So there's nothing that you can't do because he's within us. So that's me. And Easter so beautifully captures that, I think, for me. So that's me personally. It took a bit longer. But if you're not of faith, if you're not of faith, then of course, let's be honest. I work in finance. I'm an accountant. Um, I work in cost control. And for me, year end has been so hectic, so, so busy. So it's amazing to take the time and have a break at Easter, as well as my with my faith. It's amazing to take the time with family, friends, good food, a glass of something nice, getting people together who you love and worship in this world. And I just love that. So it's been such a busy time already. So leading up to Easter, I made the Easter bonnet with my niece, my dear little niece. And for Good Friday, we've done egg and spoon racing with my uh, with my mum, which was, of course, her nan, and um, my little niece as well. And we played games. We watched movies, um, singing. Uh, yeah, she was doing the dancing. I can't quite at the moment. I've been I've had a bit of an accident in the hairdressers, tripped over a towel. I've hurt my leg, which I had my surgery on. So that's all been going on. And um, yeah, but do you know what? I think a family holiday, yes, of course, summer holidays are amazing, but Christmas, 
Easter I absolutely love and adore. So I wonder what you're doing this Easter. For me, I absolutely, as I say, always love getting the family together, seeing my brothers, seeing my brother's partners, the nieces, my nephew, uh, grandparents, my nan, even though she's no longer with me in person, she's always here. So when I do anything with Easter or or anything associated around family and, and the holidays, it's she's always here. She's always here anyway. She's up above, she washes down over me always. And um, yeah, I feel her presence. And you know, I went through tragedy. Do you know what, coming up to Easter, do you know, when I'd heard that my cat Andy, my boy Andy, had been knocked by a car, I'm like, I never ever thought that would have happened, never. But you know, these things happen and it's not, it's been, three weeks? It's been three weeks, no time at all. And you know, sometimes I still find myself in floods of tears. And sometimes I think to myself, why? Why on earth is this happening in the world we live in? And then you see some sort of person, and I'm trying to think of it in the most appropriate way to say it. And then you think, well, why have they got all the luck with what they do to people and what goes on in their life? And, and you think, why? And you know, it's okay to ask these questions. What's not okay is to pass judgment and to make assumptions and to voice all of that. You can have that. You can even say that. However, do you know, what? don't spread malicious content. Don't spread kind of like a bad spirit of what I'm trying to say. Because at the end of the day, you never ever know what somebody's going through. You never ever know what someone's going through. So always give grace. Always, and, I, and there are things which are horrendous what happened in this world. And do you know what? I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. Faith doesn't even sometimes give the answer. But what it does is just, do you know what? Leave that. Leave that up to him. Leave that up to him. Um, and yeah, so it's Easter Sunday tomorrow. Um, my brother and my sister-in-law not long ago, so I thought I was going to be doing this a bit earlier. Um, so that was lovely, seeing them, spent time with them, that was really lovely. We were my brother and uh, my niece yesterday, and of course I live in the family home, so my mum and dad and my oldest brother is here as well, so that's lovely. Um, I'm just taking a time to spread East Joy, I think, and um, just to hope that, and I know I've talked about faith a lot, but lately it's been something which I've been sort of worrying over and I wanted to involve on my channel, and I love to use my channel as almost like a virtual diary to capture that. So if you're not, then that's perfectly okay. That's absolutely fine. Um, every single one of us is different and never ever try to be something that you're not. Um, I heard something once that everybody else has taken, so concentrate on you uh, because you are amazing. On that note, thank you very, very much for sharing this time with me. I hope you have a magical Easter. I hope you have a wonderful time. If you're not of faith, uh, then I hope you use the time to relax in the Easter holiday, just to recuperate and then to jump straight back into the rest of the year and have an amazing year, the rest of the year to follow. And if you are of faith, God bless you. And regardless of if you are or if you're not, God bless you. And I really, really hope that you have an amazing time, amazing Easter break, amazing Easter holiday, um, wishing you good health, wishing you all the goodness and kindness in this world and just stay safe um be positive be kind and spread that joy when you can so on that note thank you very much god bless and until next time i'll be seeing you real soon happy easter 2024 bye for now